Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Triforce and Adiro. Hey, guys. And um, yeah, I told you guys when I get here into the US, I was going to get a Super Nintendo. But what I didn't tell you is that I was going to get a Sega Genesis. So, this is a very special unboxing. This unboxing is going to be based on the Super Nintendo Sega Genesis. Where did that come from? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, it's going to be the Super Nintendo versus the Genesis. So we're going to do two unboxings. We're going to look at the games that they're coming. These are both official products, one by Nintendo, one by um, Sega. And something a, a lot of people don't know, this is the great, to me, the greatest age in video games. Because it was the only time in video games where they had two systems that put out godlike hits mm -hmm. on both sides. Every time Nintendo put out something godlike, Genesis put out something godlike. Yep. Or Sega. You know, when you keep a Sega Super Nintendo. Um, Nintendo. And it was a point where Nintendo fans were conflicted. I was one of them. So definitely, let's go through the um, unboxing. Okay, so which one do you want to open first? Super Nintendo or the Genesis? Oh, uh, let me get that Genesis. The Genesis? Okay, we're going to open the Genesis first. Uh, let's have some tape for it. Uh, we need uh, something to cut. Need some help? Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, the randomness where the razor blade came from. You know, I think every lady has one, but uh, <laughs> so let's take it. Actually, I'll give you the honors of opening the Genesis. Ooh, just it's like Christmas, guys. Mm -mm -mm. What are these? Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> so as you guys can just see. I might be horrible, guys. Oh, wait, no. Wait. Oh, no, you oh. pull this down. You pull it down. I knew that. Okay. Let's test and see if y'all do that. We got this. Oh, the Sega, your packaging is ridiculous. Bad, bad boy. Oh, Ooh. man. So it comes with the manual. All right. Oh, pull that out. <laughs> Wait, pull it what? Out. Oh, wow. So we have the original six button controllers here. And these are wireless. I wonder how this is going to work. And what do you oh, want? Are they? Oh, oh. No, these are wireless. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, they're battery operated. Oh, that's nifty. Oh, and you can't wait. Oh, what? it has little thingies here for it. The one. For if you want to use the original, show that to the camera. The, so it has the original Sega Genesis prongs, so you can use your old Genesis controllers on this. That's actually really cool. You can use your old Genesis controllers on it. That's godlike. And then you can obviously use these. They have screws on the controllers, on the back of the controllers, mm -hmm. where I guess you, this is where you change the batteries. Yeah, and you can play wireless. Let me see something. I'm gonna have to stop by GameStop and go get me the a wired controllers because I'm a wired guy. <laughs> so I'm hardwired when it comes to these games. So let's show the screen, the, the game. So uh, it looks so good. Wait a minute. Really? Wow, it's a top downloader. You can put actual Genesis cartridges in there. That's godlike. Holy smokes. I can't believe I used that old term. My fault. Holy smokes. I, I'm, I'm acting my age. Holy crap. <laughs> anyway, they, you can top down and put an actual Genesis cartridge in there. And this is obviously HDMI because it says it on the box. And this would be the power converter. Oh, okay. So let's take a look at some of the games that they have on it. So what, what are the games for the Genesis? All right, so we have Alex Kidd in, um, and the Enhanced Castle, Alien Storm. It's 85 games built in, plus you can play any of your Genesis cartridges on it. Altered Beast, Arrow Flash, I played those two games. Um, uh, Bonanza Brothers, Shakan, The Forever Man, a timeless classic that's got like Columns 3, Comic Zone, Crackdown, Decap Attack, Dr. Robotnik, Mean, G mean Bean Machine. So there's this game we play on a um, Nintendo Switch called uh, Tet uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris. And that's where the whole bo uh, Robotnik bean bean Mean Bean Machine comes from. Yeah, sorry about that. ESWAT, Eternal Champions as a fighting game. Fatal Libreth, never played that game. Flicky, Game Ground, play that. Golden Axe 2, Golden Axe 3. Wait a minute, where's Golden Axe 1? Turn to the front of the box, this is okay? There's no Golden Axe one? Yeah. Oh, there's Golden Axe. Okay, it's on the front. I'm about to say, are you kidding me here? Mm -hmm. 
Oh wow. So they have Shinobi 3. <laughs> wow. Sonic 2 Shining Force. That's what I'm talking about. Holy smokes. Shining Force. I said holy smokes again. Um, Fantasy Star 3, Fantasy Star 2, and then Columns. Let's go back to the back. Let's see what we're rocking with over here. So then we have also um, Jewel Master Kid Chameleon. Now, we had this discussion before when we were, um, this is when I was still in Jamaica and we were talking about Mario Odyssey. So you know how in Mario Odyssey you wear a hat that yeah. gives you a power for every situation? Mm -hmm. So the concept of that comes from a game called Kid Chameleon. Mm -hmm. You put on a mask and you get a power for every particular thing you need to do. Oh, that's really neat. Yeah, just, just thought you guys should know that, you know. The more you know, guys. Yeah, not trying to hate on you, Nintendo, because <laughs> we, we boys, we right here. But, uh, we them boys. Yeah. We them boys. Then they have Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3, um, Ristar, Shadow Dancer. I used to have the world record on that game. Um, Shining Force 2, Shining in the Darkness, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Pinball, uh, what is this game? This is Super Thunder Blade. Ah, um, Sword of Vermilion. Uh, what is this? The Ooze Vector Man, which was Sega Genesis version of Metroid. Well, the concept anyway. But they have Vector Man, Vector Man 2, and Virtual Fighter 2. So, yeah. The Sega Genesis flashback, see? This Don't... brings back so many memories. But he just punched Nintendo in the face with this one. This is, this is not cool, car. You know, come on, Nintendo. We'll have to fight back here. All right, so let's get these off. We, we will be streaming these, just, just know that, yeah. I, I'm definitely going to be streaming these. Oh, we have to. Yes. No other way. All right. And in this corner, ding, 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 the competitor. Nintendo Super Nintendo. Yes. Oh, this is my favorite. Oh. Smaller packaging, so this is, I guess this is Little Mac, and that was Mike Tyson, so we're in an uphill battle now. <laughs> oh, gosh. So let's take a look. Let's open this bad boy up. Wait a minute. This looks opened. Ian! All right. <laughs> so, yes, we're going to open this up. Uh, now, this was the system for me. Mm. You really shove it in there? Yeah. And then we have the manual, obviously. You know, trying to give Nintendo some points here. Their packaging is way better. It comes in the cellophane. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Got to give Nintendo as many points as possible. Oh, my goodness. The Super Nintendo Mini is... It's so cute, guys. It's mini. Like, this, I can put this in my pocket, in my back pocket, and take it into Jamaica. No top-down, so, yeah, you can't load no Nintendo games. HDMI output power in does it's it still really cool though oh you could turn on the power the original way and reset the original way oh, all right <clears throat> now controllers wired hard <laughs> wired see I can deal with this I could do this Nintendo wait time out where did you where do you plug this in <laughs> Oh. Where do you plug this in? I see what you mean there, yeah. Oh, wait, does it come? Ah, haha, wait, I got this, we got this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Masking, you trying to, ma okay, Nintendo. I see that, I respect that. I respect that, because the controllers have an actual, I see why. The controllers mm -hmm. are, the, the output for the controllers or the input to plug it in is different. So they wanted to give you that Super Nintendo feel, but hidden in that secret compartment. So it looks like a transformer. What is this? I still can't get over how cute and tiny it is. Ah. The memories. You want to understand how I'm feeling. You'd have to come from my age. The controller's feels is so crisp. You are my number one oh my. controller. Do you, need Do you need a room with it, sir? Don't you dare! <laughs> No, I don't need a room. You sure? I'm, I'm positive. Mm -hmm. Super Nintendo controllers are crisp. L and R on the top. Ooh! And you can tell it has the girth. Whoa, that's the <laughs> wrong word. It has the weight. Yeah, the weight of the original. It's not that plastically. Yeah. Um, you modeling over there. 
It has the, what is this, the power cord. This is the power brick. This is the HDMI. All right, most important, the games. <laughs> Let's get into these games. What's, what's going on with the games? What we have on the back here? Oh, man, guys, we have so many. So I'm just going to skip down to the bottom because I see Yoshi's Island, and personally, I'm excited. I love Yoshi. I don't know if you guys know that. Yoshi's Island? That's, that's a good one. What else it they got? Is. They've got The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Hold so on. I want to I jump in there. Did you know, in the International Video Game Hall of Fame this year, which I was inducted into, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, was also inducted as the 90s game. So, sorry, Sanford. Um, it's better than Final Fantasy III. <laughs> Next. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, Super Punch-Out, Super Metroid, Super Mario World. Of course, gotta, gotta mm -hmm. do that. Super Mario RPG, The Legend of Seven Stars. God tier. Super Mario Kart, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Castlevania. Pause. Back up. Okay. <laughs> so, a lot of people are complaining about Dark Souls being hard. Play Super Ghouls and Ghosts, and if that's not hard for you, play Ghouls and Ghosts, and if that's not hard for you, play Ghosts and Goblins, then you'll see what difficulty is. Run it back. <laughs> Where did I stop? Uh, Super, Super Castlevania, Street Fighter 2, Hyper Fighting. Classics. Star Fox. Godlike. Secret of Mana. I. Mega Man, what is it? X? X is a 5, right? No, no, that's just Mega Man X, because uh -oh. there's Mega Man X5, but that's regular Mega Man. Whoops, uh, let me see. Kirby Superstar, right. Kirby's Dream Course, F Zero, Final Fantasy Three. God, they had to put the best Final Fantasy in there. Yeah. My soul, my soul, right here. Uh, Earthbound, Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> I'm excited about that one too. This makes me feel so old. Like all these games that I haven't played. But they're so better long. than some of the new games. Yeah. No. Yeah. Definitely. What else? Uh, and Contra Three: The Alien World. Now, guys. Contra, I am going to be rocking that game on the stream daily. Er day. Er, er day. <laughs> er day. All day. Just letting y'all know that right now. That sounds mad corny coming from me, but that's what it was in the hood. Oh, this is godlike. Oh my goodness. So let's get the Genesis. Hold on. Okay. You in these boxes. All right. Let's take a look at this. Uh, uh. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys to decide. Well, you can lift it up like this. I'm going to leave it for you guys to decide which one of these systems won this unboxing war. The Super Nintendo Sega Genesis. Where did that voice keep coming from? Okay, the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. Leave your guys' comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next stream when I'm playing the crap out of both of these systems. Later. Bye, guys.